डंडावत बंधन अनेक बार सर्व कला समरथ डोलन ते रख हो प्रभु नानक दे कर हाथ मैं मूर्ख की केतक बात है कोट पर दी तरियारे गुरु नानक जिन सुनिया पेखिया से फिर गर्भास न पड़ियारे कहा बुद्ध प्रभु तुच्च हमारी वर्ण सकै महिमा जो तिहारी हम न सकत कर सिफत तुम्हारी आप ले हो तुम कथा सुधारी मूख उचरे शास्त्र खट पिंग गिरन चढ़ जाए अंध लख है बदरो सुने जो काल कृपा कराए अंध लख है बदरो सुने जो काल कृपा कराए सतनाम वाहे गुरु साहिब जी पूरम तूरम जोत उजाला तीन पवन मह गुर गोपाला पूरम तूरम जोत उजाला तीन पवन मह गुर गोपाला उगव्या असरूप दिखावे कर कृपा अपने कर आवे ऊनव बरसै नीज तारा ऊतम शब्द सवार नहारा इस एक का जान प्यो आपे करता आपे दियो इस एक का जान प्यो आपे करता आपे दियो उरम तूरम जोत उजाला वाहे गुरु जी का खालसा वाहे गुरु जी की फतेह सतगुरु जी दी साजी निवाजी साध संगत जी आप जी तन तन श्री गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी दे पावन पुत्र हजूरी एकत्र हो रहे हो तन तन श्री गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज जी दी नाम रूपी कथा नु सरवण करने वास्ते वी ब्लेस यू इन द कोर्ट ऑफ गुरु ग्रंथ साहिब जी महाराज जी श्री गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज जी ब्लेसस अस टुडे विद दिस ऑफ देश इन दिस बॉन्ड ऑफ ओ अंकार बारी which many people also refer to as dakhni o ankar the we very blessed to sit in the court of guru granth sahib ji maharaj ji the if today we can understand what guru sahib ji is saying to us maybe in a language that more familiar with then this is opportunity to connect the teachings of what our guru is saying to us so just in some way this bond of o ankar that sidi guru nanak dev ji recited many many years ago sidi guru nanak dev ji maharaj ji traveled towards the south I say also look at Dakhan. So if you look at the north, east, south, west, Dakhan refers to south. When Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj Ji travels towards the south, they come towards this mandir called Oankar Mandir. And in that mandir, there's a pundit there, a scholar, and he's teaching the kids the alphabet. Just like in Sikhi, we have our Panti Akhar in Guru Mukhi. In their language, their Pasha of Sanskrit, they have 35 letters as well. and guru nanak dev ji maharaj ji asks the pandit the scholar ke what are you teaching them what does each letter mean and the pandit says i have no idea so guru nanak dev ji maharaj ji tells him what each letter means and that's what this dakhni o ankar bani goes to o ankar bani ke what is the meaning of each letter in the sanskrit alphabet but also they give us so much teachings as well so pichle hafte saw singh just last week and kid which we went through guru nanak dev ji maharaj ji spoke to us in the 5th 6th and 7th body as well the akhir de vich saas sang ji guru sahib ji said to us ke ek sare ve ta gat mit paave avan jaan rahai ek sare ve ek means a one ek parmeshwar wahi guru ji sare ve means unna di seva karo serve that one sangat karo te seva karo serve that one and do their sangat as well ta gat mit paave gat he means mukti liberation mit means मर्यादा 
ke what is the way to gain liberation to get mukti they're saying by doing guru sahib ji seva many times you confuse and we get so confused over what sikhi means what we meant to do in sikhi as a sikh but guru sahib says very simply ke ek sirav hai ta gat mein tapave just serve guru sahib ji just do seva serve the guru do sad sangat that when we're doing these two things don't forget why guru ji avana jaan rahai avan means on ate jaan means jana pave janam ate maran jai that these two things are taken away by serving the guru by staying in sad sangat as well and that was in the shevi pauri the satvi pauri vich maharaj said ke guru dware aak sunaye guru dware that we have the guru dwara the guru's door guru dware guran da updesh dwara through the guru's updesh through the guru's teachings aakh sunave the guru aakh pave updesh maharaj ji gives us updesh ek us teachings aakh sunave phir sunaunde ha they also explain this to us they put this inside us and we gave the story last week of when we go to the godara sahib it should be a place where we learn we were learning more about sikhi learning about our gurus and we gave the sakhi when last week i got a nice tan and i got to go on holiday to portugal but even there in portugal the godara sahib they gave there was so much sikhi was able to gain and we went there as well so wherever we are wherever there is a dharm sal just like pai gurudas he says was kar kar andar dharm sal that every single home of a sikh should be a dharm sal as well dharm sal means a place of righteousness a place where we living up to the guru's teachings or very simply you can say naam japna to remember why guru ji to earn an honest living to share guru sahib ji pai guru das ji said that every single home should be like that when we come to a godara sahib it shouldn't just be here where there's sikhi there should be sikhi in our home as well whether that's in the morning there should be gurbani in the evening rehda sahib da part son to pehla sohela sahib ji da part kirtan sukhuni sahib da part the our home every single home should be come like that as well but going even further not just the the home made out of bricks because that those are going to we're going to move house one day the bodies will become mitti is going to become dust so the the house is but then what about this body this sri rupi kar they say make this body into the home of god as well mean that every single heart why guru ji's name should reside as well so guru sahib ji went for this last week and that is the power of doing sad sangat ek sarev hai ta gat mein tapave ke why guru ji de seva karke by doing their seva then we understand this route towards oneness with why guru ji so guru sahib ji says in gurbani mai das ho marg sant ho ke prabhu malaya thy ask the saints i ask those who come and sit in the sharan of guru granth sahib ji ma ji in the sanctuary ke prabhu malaya how can i meet why guru ji mai chare kunda bhaliya tud jevar na saiya they say that i've been in all four corners of the world mai chare kunda bhaliya chare kunda means all four corners north east south west mai chare kunda bhaliya tud jevar na saiya ke he why guru ji there's nobody like you na ko hoa na ko hoy there's no be like why guru ji there's no be like guru granth sahib ji maharaj ji mai das ho marg sant ho then i ask the saints i come to sat sang and then i ask guru granth sahib ji what is his path to meeting god how can i meet god ke prabhu mulaya that should be our question as well ke hey why guru ji hey guru granth sahib ji maharaj ji ke prabhu mulaya how can i meet why guru ji as well the guru sahib ji says to us ke man ar pe ho if you want to meet vai guru ji if we want to meet vai guru ji man ar pe ho we got to give our mind to the guru we will give our tan man tan we will give our mind our body everything to the guru ho me taj ho and say give up this i me ho me ho means i me means me ho me i me i am ho me taj ho it pant jalaiya then walk then you can walk this path like you hear we hear that famous line jo to prem khelan ka chao sir dhar tali gali meri aao if you want to play this game of love you have to walk in this path eh pant ho jalaiya guru sahib ji say that you have we have to walk in this path path nit seve ho sahib apna nit seve ho har roz every single day serve the guru serve the guru through our thoughts the way we act in the world of course you do hathi seva we have to do that as well 
you know, come and wash the pande and, you know, do the charudi seva, brooming, so on. But even the way we act and react in life as well. There's a very interesting line in Gurbani, they say, Guru ki seva, sabad vichar. They say that one form of serving the Guru is by just contemplating upon what the Guru is saying. Understanding what the Guru is saying. That is a seva as well. Because if we understand what the Guru is saying, and we apply that into our lives, and our life changes, and we've just served the Guru, because we've taken upon the Guru's teachings into our life, and then we become a better person, then we can help more people as well. Parupakar, to help other people as well. So Guru Sabdi says, Ke eho pantu jalaye, then to serve the Guru. Nitya seva ho sahiba apana. Har roj Guru Sabdi de seva karo. And they said, Sadh Sangha Malaya. Every single day come into Sadh Sangha as well. Every day come and see Guru Granth Sahib Ji. Sadh Sangha Malaya. Like we said here, Guru Sahib said, Ek Sare Veta Gat Meta Pave. So Guru Bani says very similar things many, many times. People ask the question, why does Guru Bani keep saying the same thing again and again? Guru Sahib Ji keeps saying the same thing, they're repeating themselves. It's not that the Guru keeps repeating themselves and they don't have something new to say. It's that we never got it the first time. Belly, what even Guru Sahib said it to us, we didn't understand it then. Second time they say it again. How many times does Guru Bani say Naam Japo? But do we Japo now? Do we say Vai Guru Ji's name? Guru Bani says so many things to us again and again, but we still don't listen. So the Guru keeps repeating that. That's why they say repeat, Japa, Tayasi Nitinim Kardeya. That's why we do Nitinim. Nitinim is not because we're meant to be like a para and say part every day. It's because every single day we'll learn something new from what the Guru is saying to us. Sahib Mera, Nitinava, Sada Sada. Sahib, my master, Nitinava. Every single day my Guru is new. Every single day the teaching my Guru gives to me is new. It could be the same Pankti, but the Abdesh could be new. That's how deep Gurbani is, that we could just take one line of Gurbani and it could give us so many different translations every single day, different experience every single day. That is how beyond Gurbani is. So that was a very long summary. I thought it was going to take me two minutes. It took me 20 minutes. So, Agyahon Nisar Singha Ji, Athvi Pauri, which in the eighth body. Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj continues giving up Desh to the Pandit and to all of us as well who listen to this Bani. So Ram Karanto Pahala, before we start doing this Katha Vichar, let's all close our eyes or focus upon Guru Granth Sahib Ji and we're all going to say Satanam Vai Guru together. So Sari Sangat Akho Satanam Sri Vahe Guru Sahib Ji. Urama Turama Jyot Ujala So Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj Ji Katha Nkardehan Ke Uram Uram the earth has Sasangaji Akash, the Turam, Tarti, or many different sticks you do the other way around as well. But Kenda Pave Sasangaji Uram means in the skies and Turam means in the Tarti, in the ground level. Uram at Uram at Jot Ojala. Vai Guruji di Jot, the light of Vai Guruji resides in the sky, in the heavens, in this world, in the lower worlds. Vai Guruji's Jot is everywhere. Because the Pandit asks Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they ask Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj Ji, hey Guru Nanda Ji Maharaj Ji, Os Parameshwar Vai Guru Ji Da Sarupa Ke Ho Jaya Hai. What is this form of Vai Guru Ji like, they say. And Guru Nanda Ji says that Vai Guru Ji Sarupa, Vai Guru Ji's form, Uram Atu Uram Jot O Jala. Ke Uram means in the skies, Atu Uram means hey, Jot O Jala, that Vai Guru Ji's light resides everywhere. If you know about the form of God, not that the form of God is the form of light, and that light resides every, in every single place. So, this is the first translation. But there's another translation we can do as well, because in Gurbani, Gurbani can also sometimes be split in different ways as well. We have Pella part, Fe Duja part. So, the Pella part is Ura Mat Ura Mat Jot Ojala. The Duja part, Sasangaji, Ura Madhu Ura Mat Jot Ojala. So, you'll find this as well. Duja part. So, Ura the earth hai. Hirda. Hirde, Ud Madhu means Vecha, and then Ram, Ramya Hoya, Vai Guruji. So Guru Sahib is saying in the second meaning of this same line, like we say, Guru Bani has many layers to it. The same line can mean different things. So that you can read it on the board, probably says, probably not. It says Udam, the Pankti is Udam Aturam, but the second way we can say is Udam Madhu, Rama Jot Ojala. Okay, Vai Guruji's Jot sits in every single person's heart. 
ਤਾਂ ਜੋਤ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਸਭ ਮਹਿ ਹੈ ਸਾਰਿਆਂ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਭ ਮਹਿ ਜੋਤ ਜੋਤ ਹੈ ਸੋਇ ਹੂ ਇਜ਼ ਜੋਤ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਜੋ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈ ਸਿਟਸ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਐਵਰੀਬੋਡੀ ਗੁਰੂ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਹੈ ਤੇ ਅ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਦਾ ਗੋਸ ਵਿਦ ਥਿਸ ਬਿਕਾਜ਼ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਦਾ ਵਾਹਿਗੁਰੂ ਜੀ ਇਜ਼ ਲਾਈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਐਵਰੀਵੇ ਐਂਡ ਇਨ ਗੁਰੂ ਗ੍ਰੰਥ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਜੀ ਅਨਦਰ ਲਾਈਨ ਕਾਉਂਸ ਵਿਦ ਸੇ ਧਰਤ ਪਾਤਾਲ ਆਕਾਸ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੀ ਜਿੰਦੁਰੀ ਹੈ ਸਭ ਹਰ ਹਰ ਨਾਮ ਤੇ ਆਵੇ ਰਾਮ Guru Sahib ji says tarth means the tarthi this earth very simply akash means the skies patal means the lower worlds tarth patal akash hai meri jinduri hai sab har har naam te aave ra Guru Sahib ji says that the, the whole world is saying wahi guru even the flow is saying wahi guru even the sky is saying wahi guru and the six come to sant sundar singh ji a great saint and he says sant ji what does this mean main daso marg sant ho aya if i don't understand what gurbani is saying i ask the guru six who have lived gurbani who understand gurbani applying to lives they say to santi ji that how can the tarti how can this tarti say wahi guru how can the akash say wahi guru sar sab har har naam te aave ram how can the tarti say wahi guru they give ho sakda and then mahapur said to them ke for 50 days par jaha din waste you have to say wahi guru wake up at 1 o'clock in the morning and do wai guru jab te mum antar da jab until the sun rises and when the sun rises and is daytime phir chade divas gurbani gaave that sing gurbani all day for 50 days they saw singh ji after those 50 days when they came to the huzur of guru gan sahib ji sant gandhi sundar singh ji did ardas to guru gan sahib ji and out of guru gan sahib ji came when we do ardas say dasa paat shahi di jot dasa paat shahi Guru Granth Sahib ji is not a book Guru Granth Sahib ji is the 10 gurus the jyot of the 10 gurus sits in Guru Granth Sahib ji so when sant ji did the ardas out of Guru Granth Sahib ji came Guru Nanak Dev ji Guru Angad Dev ji all the two Guru Gobind Singh ji Maharaj ji they all appeared and that jyot went back into Guru Granth Sahib ji then sant ji said to the guru sik ke put your ear against the wall when they put the air against the wall they had ik o ankar sat naam karta purkh they when they put the air against the door they had wahi guru wahi guru tarat patal akash hai meri jindri hai sab har har naam te aave ram the whole world is saying wahi guru ji's name because wahi guru ji's jyot sits in urm turm jyot ujala that wahi guru ji's light is everywhere around us and everybody is saying wahi guru ji's name han ji teen ਭਵਨ ਮਹ ਗੁਰ ਗੋਪਾਲਾ ਤੇ ਤੀਨ ਭਵਨ ਪਾਵੇ ਤਿੰਨਾ ਲੋਕਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗਤ ਜੀ ਗੁਰ ਗੋਪਾਲਾ ਦਾ ਇਨ ਥਿਸ ਵਰਲਡ ਇਨ ਦ ਹਾਈ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਦ ਲੋਅ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਥੇਰ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਨੀ ਵਰਲਡਸ ਵਾਈ ਬਟ ਇਨ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵੀ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਸੇ ਦੈਟ ਵੀ ਆਰ ਨਾਟ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਅਬਟੇਨ ਅ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਵਰਲਡ ਔਰ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਹੈਵਨ ਇਨ ਸਿੱਖੀ ਵੀ ਬਿਲੀਵ ਇਨ ਸਚ ਖੰਡ ਸਚ ਖੰਡ ਇਜ਼ ਬਿਯੋਂਡ ਆਲ ਥੀਸ ਡਿਫਰੈਂਟ ਹੈਵਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਲਸ ਥੋਸ ਪਲੇਸਸ ਆਰ ਟੈਂਪਰਰੀ the such kind is the only permanent place where we reside in vaiguji's presence so teen bhavan mein hai tinna loka vich gur gopala vaiguru ji gopal go the arth hai prithvi pal means palan karan wala the one who takes care of everybody the whole creation vaiguru ji vaiguru ji resides in all three worlds and light resides all around us han ji ugvya asroop dikhawa so ugvya the arth hai sa sang ji pargat hona ਪਰਗਟ ਮੀਸ ਤੇ ਮੈਨੀਫੈਸਟ ਉਗਵਿਆ ਪਾਵੇ ਸਾਧ ਸੰਗ ਜੀ ਸਾਡੇ ਅੰਦਰ ਜਦੋਂ ਗਿਆਨ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਕਾਸ਼ ਹੁੰਦਾ ਹੈ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਅਸ ਵੀ ਗੇਨ ਥਿਸ ਗਿਆਨ ਗਿਆਨ ਮੀਨਸ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਬ੍ਰਹਮ ਗਿਆਨ ਅਪਰੋਖ ਗਿਆਨ ਅਪਰੋਖ ਗਿਆਨ ਮੀਨਸ ਅ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਦੈਟ ਕਮਸ ਫਰਮ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਅਸ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਰੀਡ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਯੂ نو ਵੀ ਰੀਡ ਅ ਬੁੱਕ ਟੂ ਗੇਨ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਬਟ ਦ ਗੁਰੂ ਇਸ ਸੇਇੰਗ ਟੂ ਅਸ ਇਸ ਅ ਟਾਈਪ ਆਫ ਨੋਲੇਜ ਦੈਟ ਕਮੀ ਗੇਨ ਫਰਮ ਇਨਸਾਈਡ ਅਸ ਵੀ ਡੋਨਟ ਨੀਡ ਟੂ ਰੀਡ ਐਨੀਥਿੰਗ ਬਾਸ ਸਿਮਨ ਕਰਕੇ ਸੇਵਾ ਕਰਕੇ everything sits inside us jo brahmand hai soi pind hai the everything that we see in the world sits inside us everything that we look outside for is actually inside us so ugavya as roop dikhave so many pothi sahibs the part is together as roop but the main part is as roop vakra part here they come separately dikhave as the arth hai ga sa singh ji aisa ja apna ਆਪਣਾ ਰੂਪ ਦਿਖਾਵੇ 
that when we gain this gyan inside us, when Guru Sahib Ji gives us that gyan, gyan prakash, then apna roop dekhave. Why Guru Ji shows, shows us their own form when we gain that gyan. So we start following the Guru's teachings, we gain the knowledge from the Guru, true knowledge, spiritual knowledge, not just something that we read in a book. And they say, Rupa the Kave, Vai Guruji shows themselves. Now that doesn't have to just mean physically. That can mean through different scenarios in our life. Many times we have times of Dukh. And we think eh, in this time of Dukh, somebody says, God is doing everything. In Maharaji the Hukum, yeah, we say, but, and we'll say, how can you say it's God's Hukum? Why is God so mean to me? Why does God give me Dukh? But if in that situation you can realize that why Guruji is doing this in my pala, so it doesn't have to mean just physically, it can mean in a situation we see why Guruji. That why Guruji is doing this for my own good, and it may, many times it takes years to see that. That's why time is such an important thing in some aspects. That after a long time we realize why did why Guruji do this? It was to teach us something. Ugaviya asarupa the kabe. So, Jado Gyanda Parakash Hunda hai Sasanga ji, Fer Asarup the Kave, Vai Guruji Apanas Rup the Khonda hai. They show us their own form. They show us themselves in different scenarios in our life, Hanji. Kare Kirpa Apune Karava Kara Kirpa Kirpa Karake. When Vai Guruji does Kirpa Kara Kirpa Apune Kara Ave, then Vai Guruji sits inside us and we can see them. Kohunanaka. I am the Beautiful Shabad Puri Asa Ji Manasa Mera Ram. In that Shabad, Guru Sahib is saying to us, Kohonanak, I found my husband, Lord, my Pati Parameshir, I found my husband, inside me. There was me looking all around for God. Where is God? But they say, I found them sitting inside, inside me. Mere lathe ji all my dukh, all my worries, all my anxiety, all my chinta has been taken away because all this time we've been looking in the wrong place. And the Guru is saying to us that don't need to look outside, look inside. Look inside and why Guru Ji is sitting there, Hanji. Unava Barse Nichadatara. So, Unava Barse, Unav the Arthe Chokke. Pave Sasanga Ji, when the Baddal, the Baddal he means the clouds. When the clouds start to come lower and they get heavier and heavier, we know it's going to start to rain. Unava Barse Nichadatara. Nichadarthe Ekarasa Jaladi Tara. Varsada hai that when. The clouds come lower, they get heavier, and the field of water in the rain starts to fall, and it starts to become a, a heavy shower of rain. And when people see this, especially in England, we each other, we see it every single day, even when it's a sunny day, next we know it's raining again. But in India, when it rains, it rains properly, especially in Punjab. When it rains, it rains heavy, and it's a, it's a time of Anand in one respect, because now the clouds have opened, the rains are coming down, and all the all the fields are getting the water. And it's a time of, it's a lot of bliss in that moment as well. That's the physical rain. But what about when the rain of the Guru's Kirpa falls on us as well? Unava Barase Nichara Tara. That now when Guru Sahib Ji's Amrit Rupi Jal, that when the Guru starts showering us with their own mercy, with their own Amrit and Naam as well, when that falls upon us, that's a different experience as well. So just on this idea of, of Barish, the idea of rain. During the times of Guru Angad Deji Maharaj, Guru Angad Deji is a second Guru. Guru Angad Deji Sache Pashi resided in Sili Kadur Sahib. So in Sikhi, we have main cities. The first main city set up by the Guru was Sili Kartapur Sahib by Sili Guru Nanad Deji. Then in Guru Angad Deji's time was Sili Kadur Sahib. Then Guru Amar Dashi Maharaj, the Samit Vedi Sahasanga Ji, Sili Goindwal Sahib. Then we have Chak Nanaki, or Ram Daspur, or city Amritsar Sahib, etc. So these are the first main cities that we had as Sikhs. And when Guru Angad Deji set up city Khadur Sahib, in city Khadur Sahib at that time, there's a lot of Irkhalu, Pandits, Yogis, Siddhs, etc. Irkhalu means jealous. A lot of Irkha, a lot of jealousy. Because they had their chele, they had their people that followed them. And when Guru Angadevji came, when the Guru came, 
they realized that there's no one greater than this Guru. So they started following the Guru at the time. And in this case, Guru Angad Dev Ji. But in that time, there was no rain. So what happened was that the Sangat started panicking. And they went to this Tapa. And they said to him that it's not raining. And the, the Tapa said to them, some of you does penance. He said, the reason why it's not raining is because you stopped following me. And you started following Guru Angad Dev Ji. And because of that, the rain has stopped. Go and ask Guru Angad Dev Ji. Say to them, make it rain. If not, if they can't make it rain, then kick Guru Angad Dev Ji out of Kadur side. Take them, tell them to go away and then they will start to rain. So the Sangat of Kadur Sahib go to Guru Angad Dev Ji. Benti karne ne Guru Sahib Ji. Do benti to Guru Sahib Ji. The Guru Angad Dev Ji says that it's not the time to rain. So they realize at that moment their own ignorance that Guru Sahib Ji can't help us. We listen to this tapa, we will get rid of Guru Angad Dev Ji. Now any other person will say, who do you think you are trying to get rid of me, right? Do you know who I am? Right? Guru Angad Dev Ji doesn't say nothing. Guru Angad Dev Ji leaves Siri Kadur Sahib that very moment. But Sa Sangaji, when Guru Angad Dev Ji leaves Siddhi Kadur Sahib, there's no rain. Rain doesn't fall. So they realize that this Tapa, whoever they're going to, he can't get, give no rain. He has no Shakti. He can't do nothing. Now the Sangha the start to regret getting rid of Guru Angad Dev Ji. And Guru Amar Dashi Maharaj Ji comes back at this time. Guru Amar Dashi has been in Siddhi Goindavar Sahib. So this is before Guru Amar Dashi becomes the Guru. They, we know them as Baba Amar Dashi, we'll say as well. So Baba Amar Dashi comes back to Kadur Sahib and they say, where's Guru Angad Dev Ji gone? And they say, Guru Angad Dev Ji is gone. Why is Guru Angad Dev Ji gone? Because they told him to leave. Why did you tell Guru Angad Dev Ji to leave? Because it wasn't raining. And we thought that if you got rid of Guru Angad Dev Ji, start to rain. If you look in city Job Sahib, the second Sikh prayer everyone reads in the morning, Guru Sahib Ji says, Namo Suraj Suraj, Namo Chandra Chandra. Guru Nanak Dev Ji, Guru Gobind Singh Ji, they're saying that why Guru Ji, even the Guru, no difference. They're the sun of all suns. They're the moon of all moons. Guru Sahib Ji can do whatever they want. The more Dana Dane. Guru Sahib Ji gives Dana, treasure, charity to those who give charity. Dada Data Eka Hai. There's only one giver. It's Guru Sahib Ji. So imagine this moment where they've kicked out the Data. Data Piyari. Visriya Datara. What happens? We fall in love with the gifts, but we forget the one who gave us the gifts. So what happens now is that Baba Amar Dashi says that if you want rain, you have to bring Guru Angad Dev Ji back. Then you'll get your rain. So they go to Guru Angad Dev Ji and Guru Benti. And Guru Angad Dev Ji says, long story short, that this person, this Tapa, they can't give you rain. But wherever you take his body, it will rain there. Wherever his body goes. So imagine all these farmers that have come, need their jameen to be filled with water. So they start grabbing this tapa and pulling him from pind to pind, from one jameen to another jameen, from one kid to another kid, from one field to another field. And they keep dragging him and dragging him, the farmers, and they end up dragging him across the floor that he keeps bumping his head and he passes away. And he dies at that time. Right? From the just because of them grabbing uh, him and pulling him around. So he died at that time. What happened is, is that after he died, later on, his friend came to see Guru Amar Dashti in Siri Goindwa Sahib. And in Siri Goindwa Sahib, he came and Guru, Ang Guru Amar Dashti set up a big langar at that time. Everybody came to have Guru Ka Langar and Guru Amar Dashti's Langar. And this tapa that was there, that was a friend of this other one who's died many years beforehand, he's like, I'm not going to go to Guru Amar Dashi. I'm not going to have langar with them. I'm not going to say in Pangat. So Guru Amar Dashi starts to test him. And Guru Amar Dashi says that everybody who has Guru Ka Langar, I'll give them one rupee. I'll give them one coin. So imagine having langar and we get paid one pound to eat langar. Then he say, Do rupee, Panj, Das rupee, if you eat langar. Then the Guru start giving out jewels to people if they eat langar. And this tapa became very lobby at this time, became very greedy. And he thought, if the Guru is giving out jewels, I want to eat langar as well. So he goes towards Siddhi Gondwa Sahib. And he realizes that if I go inside, everyone's going to look at me. 
And I'm having my own base done. So what he tries to do, he tries to send his son in to have longer. He gets his son, he takes him on the back and he tries to get his son to jump the wall and then go and have Guru Ka Langar and take the jewels. When his son climbs over the wall, the wall breaks and his son breaks his leg. And everybody sees this tapa, this pakhandi, and they start laughing at him. That look at this fool, he's so greedy. He was so greedy to get money that he gave up his own bach and he gave up his own words. They hit his enmity towards the guru, but at the end of the day, you know what they say, everybody has a price. Tika, they say everybody has a price, right? In this case, that Lobi Tapai had his own price as well. We talked about this last week. Um, wherever there's greed, there's death in that place. Meaning that we give up our own morals, we give up everything because everybody has a price. Everybody has a price. Tika? So in this case, what happened to him? He lost his honor as well. Es logdich adhepa logdich. And Guru Ram Lashi was there at that time. So Guru Ram Lashi writes about this. And he said, Tadamarai jam kankar no aak achadya. They say that when this tapa died, this pakhandi, this false person, who would slander the Guru, who would say that, look who I am, I'm such a great person. But he was really greedy inside. When he passed away, Guru Ram Lashi writes about what happened when he left his body. They say, Tadamaraj, who is the judge who judges all our actions, say, Tadamarai, jam kankar no aaka chadya. They say to the jam dus, the messengers of death, e stape no tithe khad paayo ho. They say, take this tapa, this, this false person who does penance, tithe khad paayo ho. Take them and put them in that place, jithe maha maha hatiyariya. Where the worst murderers goes, the, ma the mass murderers that kill so many people, take this one who slandered the Guru, who did so much but can't, who tricked people and put them in the worst type of hell that you can find where the, the murderers go. Like you can imagine Hitler was a mass murderer. In that case, put them in that type of hell. Guru Ram Dash, he says in the own Bani about what happens when this person left their body. But obviously for a Sikh, we don't have to worry about that. Why? Right? Because if we take upon the Guru, and we stay in the Sharan of our Guru, then we have nothing to worry about. Of course, if we get big-headed, then there's a problem. If we stay in humility, nimrata, then as Mahdi says, Unava Barase Ni Charatara, the Guru Sabi showers us with their own kirpa as well. Another small story that goes with this, and I'll speed up because already half of it are katha. When it comes to a Sikh, the Sikh is showered by the Guru's kirpa all the time. When the Sikh reads Guru Bhai, the Sikh comes into Saad Sangat, and the Guru is showing us with the Kirpa Drishti, with the glance of grace. And even that Sikh, because we're talking about Guru Angad Deji in this first story about how the Sikhs asked him to bring rain. If the Guru wants rain to come, the Guru can make it happen like that. Even the Guru Ka Sikh, even the Sikh of the Guru can make rain come. Uh, we talked about this a month ago, Sant Baba Sham Singh Ji, who did Kirtan in that city, the Rabar Sai, for 70 years, every single day. Sant Baba Sham Singh Ji, once the Sangat came to Babaji and said to him, Babaji, there's no rain in city Amritsar Sahib. Bless us with rain. The Baba Sham Singhji said that we go to Guru Ram Dashi Maharaji, we go to city Darbar Sahib, we get Panj Singh, and we go to Guru Granth Sahib to Ardas. Baba Sham Singhji went to Guru Granth Sahib Ji, they did Ardas, and then Baba Sham Singhji did Kirtan. And when Baba Sham Singhji did Kirtan at that time, they sang a Shabad, and the Shabad's gone on my head, um, the end of the Shabbat is Guri Chah Badalai. That what happened was Meg Varse Daya Kar Guri Chah Badalai. Maharaji says that Meg Varse Daya Kar. When Vai Guruji does Kirpa, then Meg Varse. Then the rain, the clouds open and the rain falls. When Baba Sham Singh is doing Kirtan of the Shabbat, or the Shabbat very similar to this, it starts raining. That is the power that the Sikh has, that the Guru gives to them, the power of Rag, the power of Gurbani Kirtan, that when Babaji sing in the Shabad Megh Varse Daya Kar, the clouds start opening and it starts raining. And when Babaji stops doing Kirtan, the rain stops as well. So through Rag, they're able to invoke different moods and even change the whole Mahal, the whole atmosphere of Darbar or even the whole Tarti as well, 
मुक्त करने वाला तब आई वीड इन गुड बानी उत्तम शब्द देन सवार नहारा वी बिकम मुक्त एज वॉ वी आर सेव्ड वी आर लिबरेटेड एज वॉ थ्रू दिस हाई शब्द द गुरु इज गिवन अस अनदर स्टोरी दैट कम्स टू माइंड आई हैड अ फ्यू डेज अगो वेरी ब्यूटीफुल स्टोरी श्री गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज जी वुड ट्रैवल अगेन इन मेनी मेनी प्लेसेस गुरु नानक देव जी महाराज जी केम टू अ रैंडम यू कैन इमेजिन अ लिटिल एरिया इलाका विद इन द जंगल्स They saw Sangaji. There was many thugs there, who would steal and do chori, chori. They would steal from many people. The Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj goes to that same place and they try to steal from Guru Nanak Ji, but when it was night time, Guru Nanak Ji left. When Guru Nanak Ji left, the thugs came for Guru Nanak Ji to steal from them and to kill Guru Nanak Ji. Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj says, "If you're going to kill me, maran to pehla before you try to kill me, do this." Get me some brick. Get me some wood, because do my antam sanskar. You have to burn my body. You can't just leave my body here. I have a bury here, but in this case, said burn my body. Why? Right? Don't just leave my dead body here. And he said that's fine. So the the thieves had a bit of compassion for Guru Nanak. They just thought, "Chalo, if we're gonna steal from them, at least we could do is and kill them. At least we could do is you know burn the body for them." And he said, "Where are we gonna get fire from?" The Guru said, "If you look on the other side, you see smoke in the air. Two are rising. Go there. There's probably fire over there." So what happens is, there's four of them. The Guru says, "Leave two of your people here, so I don't run away, and two of you go and get some fire." Now, when those people go to get the fire, they come towards this smoke. So along the way, they see something happening in the jungle. What's happening? Somebody's getting beaten up really badly. They're tied up. And they're literally getting, as we say, like battered, right? Beaten up so badly at that time, but they don't. The thieves don't get involved. They walk straight past. They go to the fire. They get a piece of wood, and they light their fire, and they come walking back. But this time, when they walk back, they see that same person is getting beaten up. Now the people that are around them are beating them up. They're serving them. They're doing their seva. They're looking after them. They're they're like um, just showering them with so many gifts and praising them. So what happened then was, they stopped and they said to them, "What's going on here? Earlier you was beating this person up, and now you're showering them with so many gifts and you're looking after them." And they said at that time, that when the when the fire was burning, when we was beating them up at that time, because there was a fire going there as well. So when we was beating up, Sidi Guru Nanak Dev Ji looked at the tuman, they looked at the smoke that was going up in the sky, and just because of that. This person, all their mad karam, all their bad actions were cut away. So who were those people that were beating this person up? They were the jamdus. They were the messengers of death. They come to take this person. They're beating him up, right? But when Guru Nanak Dev Ji's glance of grace just touched the smoke that was touching them, what happened then was that all their mad karam, all their bad actions were cut away at that time, just by looking at the tuma, not even looking at the person. What does that explain here? It shows that Guru Nanak Dev Ji Maharaj is so much kept by in their in their in their drishti in their in their sight that they don't even have to look at us and they can bless us. If they look at us, they can bless us so much. But that is how powerful Guru Sahib Ji's glance of grace is that they don't even have to look at the person and they burn away all their bad karma at that time. Utama sabda savar nahara. And what do we have today? We have Guru Bani. And when we read Guru Bani. We look at Guru Bani, Netri Sat Guru Pekhna comes in Nehra Sahib. Netri Sat Guru Pekhna, Netri means with our eyes. Sat Guru means the Guru. Pekhna means to see. That when we look at the Guru with our eyes, Guru Bani, our eyes become pure. But if we're looking at Guru Bani, what is Guru Bani looking at? Guru Bani is looking back at us. So even just looking at the Akhar, Bani Guru Guru Hai Bani, we are becoming pure. And then we read that Guru Bani, we listen to that Guru Bani, and we become even more pure as well. Guru Nanak Ji ne sunya 
pack here. If you want to see Guru Nanak Ji today, then open our Gurdwara Sahib and we see the Japji Sahib apart, and we'll see Guru Nanak Ji right there in that moment. Guru Nanak Ji lives in each akhar of Sri Japji Sahib. Guru Nanak Ji lives in Guru Bani. When we Guru Bani, Guru Nanak Ji is looking at us. Guru Nanak Ji is speaking to us, and Guru Nanak Ji is listening to us as well. That is the power of Japji Sahib. Japji Sahib is Guru Nanak Ji. Guru Nanak Ji is Japji Sahib. There is no difference. Hanji, आगे पढ़ो जी. इस एक का जान है पेओ. सेस पर का सास संग जी इस एक का जान है पेओ. If anybody wants to know that one एक पर में शिरवाई गुरु जी जान है पेओ. पेओ the अर्थ है का पेद. Pead means their mystery or their their form. John, whoever wants to know that one, why Guruji, Hanji? Ape karta, ape deo. The one who comes to know about them, the one who comes to know about why Guruji is a k ka John. Ape who knows the pe the mysteries of why Guruji. Ape karta the veil as a why Guruji is ape karta. Karta means karne wala. They are the one that does everything. The creator, ape deo. The ap sa sanga ji. Deo means to give in this case. So deo the arth ka prakash. Dev, Deo Dev means Prakash Sroop. They're the one that gives us light, but also Deo means they give us this gift of Nam. Ape Karta Ape Deo. Why Guru Ji is the one that gives us everything, Hanji? Ugwe Sura Asura Sangara. So Ugwe Ugwe means Sasingi when the sun starts to rise. Jado Suraj Charda hai Sasingi Ji. Ugwe Sura Sur means Suraj. Ugwe Sura Asura Sangara. Hanera Sasan, the darkness is taken away. Asur means the demons. Sur means like Devi Devte. Asur means the opposite. Asur, Dante. Pave Sasan Gaji, Jire Dante, Sade under the bethe, and those demons that sit inside us of calm, cloud, low, mohankar. Asur Sangare, Sare Nasho Jande Han, when the Guru blesses us with their gyan, when they bless us with Guru Bani, we apply Guru Bani to realize Ogave Sur, Asur Sangare. I saw that all those demons are washed away. The anger we have inside us, anxiety, those things that torture us, keep attacking us. Pancha satava he duta, kavan a bidha mar me. How do we destroy these things that are attacking us every single day? It's through the Guru's bani. The Guru's bani is not just words. The Guru's bani is a weapon. Gyan kharag. The Guru's bani is a sword that the Sikh uses to destroy everything. That's attacking him all the time, Hanji. Ucha dekh sabd bichara. The sabd bichara, bichara karke. When we contemplate about what the Guru is saying to us, ucha dekh, then we start to look really high. That we see why Guru Ji is always around us. Sikha da man niva mat uchi. Man niva mat uchi. That they are humble, but they are very high thinkers. The Sikh always thinks the highest of the high. The Sikh always holds their head up. The Sikh is not cocky, but the Sikh is confident. Big difference. A Sikh has not got hankar, but the Sikh is confident in themselves. Why? We're not shy people. Why? Chalo, there's nimrata, but it doesn't mean that the Sikh is not confident as well. Why? You can have humility, mat uchi. Why? Mandanivate mat uchi as well. Both things come together as well. So ucho deke sabad bichare, vichar karke saasin. But with contemplating from Gurbani, ucho deke that that sick looks high and they see ke vai Guruji is the one that is doing everything, Hanji. Upar ad antate huloe. So we go Brahma, Vishnu, Mahesh, Shivaji. Guru Sahib say that who is higher than all them? Upar. Is why Guruji? They are the highest of the high. That we say that Eka Mai Jugti Bhai Tin Chale Parvan Ek Sansarik Pandari Kalai Diban. When we say above them, Oh Vekhe Ona Nadan Naave. Bahota Eho Vadan. That who sits above all them? It's why Guruji. Why Guruji is the highest of the high. Upper Ad Ant Ad To Ant Tak Sa Sangji Ad Ant Jo Rakhna Har. That one why Guruji Tehloi Tinna Loka Vech. That why Guruji is the highest of the high from the start to the end. Why Guru Ji doesn't get less? We get less. We start young, we get older, body starts to get weaker. Why Guru Ji doesn't get less? Why? Why Guru Ji doesn't decrease? They don't even increase. Why Guru Ji just Why Guru Ji? They are everything. So upada ad anta te haloe hanji. Ape kare katha sunay suay. So ape kare. Why Guru Ji is the one that does everything? 
सो ए संसार रचा के वा मेक इन दिस हाउ वर्ल्ड आप करे कथ है कथ है मीज वाई गुरु जी साउस इज द वन हु डज कथा कथन करन वाला फिर सुने सुनन वाला वाई गुरु जी क्रिएट एवरीथिंग देन वाई गुरु जी गेव द उपदेश देन वाई गुरु जी लिसन टू द उपदेश एज़ वेल व्हाट डज दैट मीन इट मींस अ even though they create everything they stay in this world and they speak to us but then they sit inside the ones that listen as well mean that nothing is separate from them everything is one with them and that's what guru sahib keeps reminding us of because what happens is that we come to katha on sunday we listen to katha we hear all this stuff and then monday to saturday it goes out of our head again and then we start again on sunday every single week But Maharaj is saying, "Okay, remember that Vai Guru Ji is with us every single moment of our day. Guru Mere Sang Sada Hai Nalle. That Vai Guru Ji is always with us. But what happens? Eighth Var comes, Sunday comes. Then remember Vai Guru Ji. Swam Var Adik. Then we forget Vai Guru Ji. Monday onwards, back to work, back to school. Then Sunday comes again, Vai Guru. Monday, Dunia." Why? Right? But Guru said he said that Vela is that why Guru Ji is in everything in every moment. They speak to us at all times as well, Hanji. Oh, Bidata, Manata na de. Oh, Bidata, Bidata. If you read the English, it says the like the something of destiny. Bidata here means the one who karam onusar for all the karams that we've earned in our life, life and our previous lives. Why Guru Ji is the one who gives us that fall. They give us the fruits of our own karam. For every single life that we live, where we've acquired in the past, we have to ape bi ja pe hi ka. We have to sow what we so um we have to reap the rewards of what we've done in the past, right? So man tan de man through our mind, through our body, the Guru has given us everything. The one who empowers us through the mind and the body, wherever karma da fall that we have, the fruits of our actions from before. We have to live them out for our mind and for our body, Hanji. Oh, Vidata, Man, Mukha, Soe. So, with this, as you just remember, Man, Mukha, Vakra, it's not together. In Guru Bani, when it comes to Man, Mukha, it's Mama, M, Nana, then Man, Mukha, then Mama, Ankar, and then it could be Kakha or Kakhe Sahari, Man, Mukha. But as you say, if on the Man, on the Nana, if there's a Sahari on there. मन मुख फिर पाठ वक्रा है गए सेपर मन मुख सो इन वेमी वी लड़ी वार पाठ लड़ी वार मीन्स वेन द वर्ड अर टुगेवर वी कीप से मन मुख इत सांग जी इट्स मन मुख सो ओह बेदाता मन मुख सोए मन मीन्स माइंड मुख मीन्स वर्ड्स सोए तो ओह बेदाता भावे ओस परमेश्वर वाहगुरु जी मन मुख रहा है हूज मन एंड हूज मुख in the gurmukhs the one is the gurmukh why guru ji resides in their mind and on their mukh so prabhu ji bas hai sadh ki rasna why guru ji sits on the tongue of the saints so oh bidata man mukh soe why guru ji sits on the tongue of the saints the one their man which man can be mind jahir da same thing gurbani mahan kosh man means mind or it means heart as well it comes interchangeably So that why Guru Ji sits inside the heart of every single person, and this, and especially the Guru Muks, they sit in their mind. They're always there, and when they speak, it's not them speaking. It's why Guru Ji speaking. Prabhu Ji bas hai saad ki rasna. Prabhu Ji means why Guru Ji bas hai means to reside. Saad means the saints ki rasna on their jiba on their tongue. Why Guru Ji sits themselves, Hanji? Prabhu Jag Jivan Avar na koi. Avar na koi. There's only one. Why Guru Ji? There's only one giver. There's only one. There's nobody else. Prabha Jaga Jivan. Prabha Prabhu Parameshwar Why Guru Ji? Jaga Jivan. Jagat Di Jivan. Jagat Di Jivan Denwal. The one who gives life to everybody is that one Why Guru Ji? Han Ji. Nanak Naam Rte Pat Hoye. So Nanak Siri Guru Nanak Ji Maharaj Ji Kathan Kar De Han Ke Naam Rte Pat Hoye. Naam Rte. Those who are absorbed in Nam, Nam me which rangya hoye hai saal singh ji. Those who are absorbed in Nam, pat hoye. Pat means ona di soba hundi hai. Is log tu chete pe log tu chete gain soba glory. Or pat means pati parameshar. That they meet Vai Guru ji. Nam ratte. Those who are imbued in Guru Sahib ji's name, they say pat hoye. Pat means honour. Or ekros means pat 
uh, when the Tate Sahari becomes Tate Bahari Pati Parameshwar, then meet Vai Guruji Hanji. So in the last part in Rui Samapti, Guru Sabji now no goes to the next letter in the Sanskrit alphabet. It's very hard letter to pronounce. In English, in Guru Mukhi we say Rara. Rara is just like in English you say R, but it's different. Because Rara has to hit the roof of her mouth twice. Rara. But in Sanskrit, their Rara is very different. It's Riri, the way they say. Why? Rare Sahari, the Rare repaired, which is another Rara. Rir, can't even say it. Then Ri, Riri. Why? So that's their Rara. So Guru Sahib gives the Arth of Rara for them in their Sanskrit alphabet. The Marji says Rajan Ram Rave Hitakar. Rajan means Raja, king. So who is the king of all kings? Raja and the Raj, Panana Pan. In Job side, the king of all kings is Guru Sahib Ji. So Raja and the Ram, Vai Guru Ji, Rave Hitakar. Hitakar means those who are premi, who have prem for the Guru. Rave means Uchar Nakarna, to Uchar. They say those who have love for the Guru, what do they do? They always recite Vai Guru Ji's name. Rave Hitakar. But he prayed and asked you so much love. They will say Vai Guruji's name, the King of Kings, Hanji. Because and every single day they're in a battle. Ran Mehe. Ran means in a battle. Jange me daande vich Ran Mehe. Luja. Manu Amar. Luja. Juj they are there fighting every single day. Manu Amar. Manu Amar means this khoti buddhi, this very dirty mind, you could say, very bad thoughts. Or this soba, this very bad soba, this very bad nature that we have. They say, Ran, Rana Mehalu Jai Manu Amar. Every single day they fight in this battle. Just like Guru Gobind Singh says, Tan Mehal, a Tan Jiyo Teheko Jagame, Mukate Har Chitme Jud Bechare. Tan Jiyo. Bless all those people, Tan Jiyo Teheko Jagame, that come into this world. Mukate Har. On their tongue, they say, Why Guru? Mukate Har Chitme Jud Bechare. Mokte, they say, Vai Guru, te chete vicha, jodh bechare. Every single day they're fighting a battle in their mind. But they still say, Vai Guru. Every single day they wake up in the morning and they still say, Vai Guru. What is Nitnim? Nitnim is not just reading part every single day. Nitnim is when it's a good time, when it's a bad time, we never leave a Nitnim. That is Nitnim. Nitnim is an ek vadi sal de vich. Nitnim is every single day when it's dukhda vela, just sukhda vela. Whether it's good or bad times, that is Nitinim. Nitinim is that, you know, sometimes we feel like we don't, we don't wake up early, or we have a bad day, we go to sleep out early, late in the morning, something's happened in our life, but the sick doesn't leave their Nitinim. Always keeps that in their mind. So, Jodh uh, Bechare, Dehe a Nitta, Na Nitta Rehe. They say this Dehe, this body is Nit, Dehe a Nitta. A Nitta means it will never remain. Deha a nit na nit rahe, just just a nav a chade, pavasagaratare. So, what does a Sikh do? They get on the boat of the Guru. Just a nav. Chade. Just means to praise, nav means bohit. The boat of the Guru. Just a nav a chade, pavasagaratare. They carried across this ocean. Those who do this, you come with the boat of the Guru as well. That is what we are doing every single day. We are Chalasi Koshish Karade, we try every single day we fight that battle. Raname Luje Manu Amar to kill this very bad thought, these bad thoughts I have in our mind. Every single day, Nit Da Jung. Every single day we fight in this battle, Hanji. Rat Dinanta Raher Angurata. Rat means Rat Nu, night time. Din means day. Dinanta. Din Da Anta. At the end of the day, at the end of the night, Raher Rangarata. Rahe means remain, Rang Ratta, Vai Guruji De Rang Vichar and De Han, Master and De Han. They always remain absorbed in Vai Guruji's love, whether it's daytime or nighttime, Hanji. And those people who do this Teen Pavan means a Tin Loka, Teen Pavan, Jogachare Jata, they know about all the four ages, know everything. That everything comes to them. They don't need nothing but all fours of their feet, Hanji. Jina jata, so te se hi jeha. Jina jata. Jina ne jaan le asanshi. Those who have known of who Vai Guruji. Those who meet Vai Guruji, who know Vai Guruji, Jina jata, so te se hi jeha. 
those ones that know Vai Guru become like Vai Guru. They become one with Vai Guru. Hara, Hara Jan, Do Eka Hai. They become one with Vai Guruji who come to know Vai Guruji. Who do Vai Guruji say, Vahanji? Ata Nirmayala, Sijasa Deha. So Ata means Ata Yanta, both he Nirmayala. Ke Sasanga Ji, Os Jeevda Man Rupi Panda, Shud Ho Janda Hai. Nirmal Ho Janda Hai. Ata, both he a lot. It becomes very pure their mind. Ata Nirmayala, Sijasa Deha. Deha means the body. That they become liberated. Sijasa, Mukata. They are liberated from this body. They go beyond this body, Hanji. So, Sāsanga Ji, Akhiliya Pankte, which Guru Maharaj Ji kathan kar de anke, Rahasi. Rahasi he means Ananda. Ram Riday Ikapai. Ram Riday. Inside their heart, Ikapai, Ik Parameshwar Vai Guru Ji Vasi, for the one Vai Guru Ji, they have Prem. Pai. Those that have Prem for Vai Guru Ji inside their heart, they gain so much Ananda. फिर हाँ जी अंतर सबद साँच ले वलाए ते अंतर सबद साँच ले वलाए जो उन्हें दी सुरती है साँस इंजी बिरती है दे दे कंसंट्रेशन इज़ ऑलवेज़ कनेक्टेड टू वाई गुरुजी अंतर सबद शब्द इज़ ऑलवेज़ गोइंग इनसाइड एंड जस्ट लाइक पाय मती दास जी और पाय दियाला जी ना इताहास का पाय मती दास जी और Ardo are they cut in half? They've been cut in half at that time. Pariyo Prithvi, Par Hvai Do Phara. They become into two pieces. The body falls to the floor. Don ho tanate jap ji pade. Here the sabke achraj bade. Kavi Santok Sinji Vais on both bodies. Don ho tanate from both bodies. Jap ji pade. Pai Mati Dasya Japti said the part going inside them. Both bodies. होए दो खंडना जीवत कोई ऐ तो पटता जीवत जिम होए जब हाँ कैन टू बॉडी से गॉड्स नेम वो पाय मति दाशी शोध दस्ता अंतर सबद सच लेवल आए तो इनसाइड देम द शब्द उस सिंग इनसाइड इट्स नो लॉन्गर समथिंग ऑन द टंग दैट शब्द बिकेम वन विद देम सो इन्हीं अभिनेत प्रवान करने आसासिंग जी प्लीज के दो मिस्� this week is Guru Arjan Dei Jimaji Shahiddi Purab as well. So let's come to the Guru card for the Shahiddi Purab. The, in our Etahas, the Guru led by example. The Guru was the first one to become a martyr, to become a Shahid. The, the Guru led by example for us. Why you look at Pai Diyala Ji, Pai Diyala Ji sat in Obudi Deg, they sat in a boiling hot cauldron. Where did they learn that from? From Guru Angad Dei, from Guru Arjan Dei Jimaji. Ji. It's our Etahas, our Guru is led by example. So let's definitely come to the Gurdwara Sahib for the Shahidi Purban. Let's remember the Shahadat, the Qurbani that Guru Arjan Deji Maharaj gave for all of us as well. And what was that? For, you could say, one reason for Gurbani, that they tried to change Gurbani. And Guru Sahib said, you can't even change one Akhar, one Laga Matara in Gurbani. You were never added Muhammad Sahib's prayers into Gurbani. Many different reasons which you can hear. If you come to the Goddara Sahib on Tuesday. So again, please forgive the mistakes made. Deho Sajjana Si Sariya Johove Sahib Siho Mel Rahasi Ram Ridha Ik Pai Antar Sabd Saach Liv Lai Vahe Guru Vahe if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share and subscribe. Please donate and help spread Guruji's message. Link is in the description below. Vaheguruji ka khalsa, Vaheguruji ki fateh.